Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Marissa Walzak. Well, it was a mild start out there this morning with temperatures starting in the 40s, even though if you take a look behind me, the Almanac is saying our low temperature is 37 degrees. That is because we are cooling off quickly right now. We made it up to 47 degrees this afternoon, so right on average there. Across the rest of the area, it was in the 40s today in Bend, 30s in Sun River. Along I-5, though, getting into the 50s in both Corvallis and Roseburg, out along the coast, 50s, Newport and Florence, though North Bend up to 61 degrees. Taking a look at our current temperatures, outside. You can see out along the coast, still mid 40s in Newport, 50s, Florence and North Bend. But along I-5, at least in the Willamette Valley, we are cooling fast. Looking at the mid to upper 30s at this hour, 46 degrees right now in Roseburg though. So still holding on to some warmth there. Storm Tracker 9 satellite radar showing the clouds are actually the fog that is sitting in the Willamette Valley and now down into the Umpqua Basin and it is getting closer to the ground. So we are expecting visibility to be reduced as we get into tonight. So if you are heading out later tonight, Make sure that you do take things slow if you do run into some of that dense fog out there. Mostly clear skies, though, into the Cascades as well as out along the coast. And that's how it's going to be as we get into tonight as high pressure remains in control. This is keeping our skies clear aloft, but it's also trapping in some of that colder air into the valleys and also the fog into the valleys. And that's why many of us got stuck in the fog today. And we also are probably going to be stuck in the fog again tomorrow, though there are a few spots that will actually break out to see that sunshine in the afternoon. Now we do have some changes coming and it is from this storm off to the west. You can kind of see it pick up that uh, comma shape here. It is developing, so not completely formed just yet, but it will continue to develop and move closer to our area once we get into Thursday. That's when we'll see some changes and then those showers will return. It'll help get the fog out of the area. However, we are looking at some wet weather, so still going to remain gloomy in many spots. Out along the coast tomorrow, starting off mostly sunny, some patchy fog. Clouds will increase throughout the day. Expect high temperatures into the mid-50s. The Umqua, Bacon, or, excuse me, Umqua Basin waking up with some dense fog outside. Clouds will also increase throughout the area. Kind of going to be a gloomy day as well again tomorrow before rain showers on Thursday. The Cascades and the Foothills, patchy fog fog in the morning. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies. It was a beautiful day today there. Same thing as we get into tomorrow. Central Oregon, also some fog in the morning. Mostly sunny skies for the afternoon. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, yes, some dense fog possible tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it's going to be another mostly cloudy day ahead. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast along the coast. Showers returning. Some drizzle possible early Thursday, but the bulk of the moisture will move in the second half of Thursday, continuing with the first storm through Friday. The next storm moves in Saturday and Sunday, bringing more rain across the area. The Umpqua Basin, yes, some fog, not only tomorrow morning, but also into Thursday morning. Showers moving in late on Thursday, continuing all the way through Sunday. Expect high temperatures into the mid-50s, so at least we're mild with the temperatures, but yes, it is going to be a wet weekend. The Cascades also looking at rain, so good news if you're traveling across the passes. Shouldn't be too slick, but not good news for those that want to get out at the ski resorts. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, yes, still dealing with the fog, at least for tomorrow and most likely on Thursday as well. Clouds will increase throughout the day on Thursday before showers moving in late in the day Thursday, continuing all the way through late Sunday into early Monday. Even a few showers could linger, but temperatures not too bad above average in those low to mid 50s, guys. Mm, I think my holiday lights are going to stay up another weekend with those, <laughs> with those rainy conditions. It's going to be Valentine's Day by the time you get those things down. <laughs>